Hey crafty friends, welcome to another tutorial. Um yeah, I had my February um Project Life pages finished and for my layout I added it, um a journal card from the Ellie Edwards stories by the month kit um for February and I'm going to show you really quick how you can do this as well. So we're going to start off with the journal card. I really like this card, but I need to add a whole bunch of um, journaling. So I need more cards. And what I did, first I'm going to unlock this layer. I'm going to choose or pick the eyedropper tool in my menu right here and I'm gonna click on the background so I'm getting the exact color of the background and then I'm gonna pick a normal um, yeah brush I'm gonna adjust the size so I can easily remove Ali's text right here so um, like I said, I want to do a whole bunch of journaling and I need probably six, seven journal cards. And my idea is to use this journal card as a base and just change the color of the lines at the bottom. And I'm going to show you real quick how you can do this. We are going to use the March the ma the magic wand tool to do so and I'm just gonna select the white area and as you can see down here at the bottom it's not there we're not gonna worry about that because if I'm clicking yeah this shift um, if I click on shift can see that there's a plus added to my magic wand tool and I can now select this area and I'm gonna zoom in and this area as well so now all of the white or light area is selected and I can simply right click and choose um, layer via cut now I have two layers, one with only the, the white background and one that only has the stripes. I am going to move the layer with the white background to the bottom and obviously I'm going to fill it all in with that same, no not eyedropper tool with the same color so there you go and now let me just grab one of the cards journal cards I'm going to use this one that's just for reference because I want to use the different colors from this card and then I'm also adding um, the mint color here and also I think I'm using the the craft color as well as the gray color from here so I have I think a, a total of s that would be f six seven eight eight journal cards so I picked a color already and now what I need to do is add another layer on top of it and then mask it and there you go saw that just used the paint bucket and filled that um, masked layer here with my preferred color and I can do this now over and over again with any color I wish. 
Um, what you can also do, and what I did for my February pages, is I changed um, the size of my journal card. Like this is a 3x4 card, and for my layout I needed 4x3 as well. So I'm, I had to change the orientation. And that is pretty simple as well. I'm going to show you how you can do that. Um, okay, you're going to go for picture and your work space, it is, it should be, where you can see the size of your um, current canvas. And since this is a journal card I dragged into Photoshop, it is 3x4 and I'm changing it to 4x3 inches. Yes, please do it. Now this looks very weird, I know, but as you can see, if I'm going in here, you can see that the blue lines are there, so we just have to move things around to get what we need. So I'm going to fill in the background with our background color again. I need to move up. Um, I'm going to do both of them. Move them up like this and I'm going to move it to the left. And now I need to make a copy of my lines because I need to continue the lines here on the right side. So what I'm doing, I'm going on to one of the lines and as you can see, yeah, my cursor is a black arrow right now and if I click on command for Photoshop, you can see it it adds a white arrow to it. That means you're going to m yeah, make a copy of whatever layer you're currently on. You can also just right click on here and then um, duplicate layer. That's works the same. So as you can see I now have these lines duplicated and I'm just moving them so that they are lining up with yeah the last part of the line. As you can see here, they're still, they're not perfect, so I'm just using my keyboard and have to move them up a little bit and that looks almost perfect. Just almost. So, That's looking good. So now what I'm doing is I'm going to put these two layers together so they become one. And I'm going to delete the mask layer here and then I'm going to select both layers. I'm going to right click and then I'm going to merge both of the layers. one layer and as you can see it's a little bit longer just use the crop tool and you're good to go so now I've changed the orientation all right uh, from 3 by 4 to 4 by 3 and I can now easily add my journaling by adding a text box and just yeah, choosing my favorite font. So, and you would do the same thing as I did this for my layouts as well. I needed a f um, horizontal, 
no f vertical four by six card so and the three by four cards are just mini versions of four by six cards so you would do the same thing you would um, change the workspace and then fill in the color again and then um, yeah duplicate the the line layer as well because you need it to be um, four inches wide it will probably be easier to show you or not easier but I'm just going to show you with this card again because it is already four inches wide so changing my workspace here and I need to ch adjust the height to six inches there you go now all I need to do is drag this all the way to the bottom and make sure that I'm in line and with the eyedropper tool I'm choosing the background color filling that in and I now have my 4 by 6 card which I can use for journaling then as well so I hope you like this little tutorial for you know changing the colors of parts of a journal card and I hope to see you next time bye